It's March 8, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn. Today I'm in the Manset area of the town of Southwest Harbor here on Mount Desert Island. And what I'm doing is uh, driving down Route 102A through Manset and looking at some of the historic homes. I say some for two reasons. First, I'm only looking at homes built before 1900. Basically what I'll do is show you the home and uh, then uh, tell you when it was built and other information that I think you might find interesting. And the other reason I say some is that I'm using uh, an index that I found online of historic homes in Southwest Harbor. And unfortunately, the index is very cumbersome. The homes are not listed by address. They're listed by the first name of the people that built them, which makes it very difficult to pull homes in particular areas out of the list. And the list is very big. And because of the way it's set up, in order to find out where a house is and when it was built, I have to look at the full file for each house, which is several pages long. And so far, I have only gotten through the Ds in the A to Z index. So I will be coming back as I finish more of the index and taking a look at more homes in this area. Okay, let's go out and start looking at some homes. Now the first two homes that I found here on Route 102A in Manset were at 69 and 73 Manset. That's on the water side of the road and unfortunately those homes are down a long driveway uh, and it's a private drive so I can't go down it. But they were built from 1882 to 1887 as part of a much larger family compound. Okay, let's move on and take a look at some more houses. 126 Seawall Road. This is a home built in 1883. Obviously, the front part of the house is the old part, and the back part there is a newer add-on. This is 106 Seawall Road. This home was built in 1887. As you can see, it's in the middle of a renovation. This house is 140 Seawall Road, and it was built in 1898 by a dentist named uh, Anderson, and he lived here and had his dental office in the house. This house is uh, 210 Seawall Road, and it is one of the older houses in this area, it was built in 1873. And I think the add-ons on either side of the center house are most likely considerably newer. This house is 232 Seawall Road. It was built between 1892 and 1897, and it looks like it is pretty much original. This house is 245 Seawall Road. It is another uh, house from 1884, and again, it looks pretty much original. Part of the porch may be an add-on, but other than that, I think the house is more or less as it was when it was built 137 years ago. This house is 259 Seawall Road. Like many of the other houses in this area, it has, was built just a bit before the turn of the 19th century. And this one was built between 1883 and 1884. And like many of the others, it looks pretty much original. Okay, I'm out to 333 Seawall Road now. And this home, which also looks very much original, except possibly for the little uh, lean-to entry there, was built in 1892. Okay, I'm out to 349 Seawall Road. This home was built in 1860, and it illustrates one factor, and that is that not all the homes uh, along here have been renovated. Uh, this one 
obviously has had a few changes. It's had asphalt shingles put on it, which I'm sure were not available in 1860. But other than that, it's uh, pretty run down. A real fixer-upper, if you will. Now, let's turn around and look at the house across the street, which is the next house on my list. This home is 350 Seawall Road, and it was built in 1842. And uh, that just illustrates that not all the homes uh, from the 1800s uh, are the same. Some, like this one, have been renovated at some time, and others, like 349 across the street, which we just looked at, have not. Okay, this is 374 Seawall Lane, and it was built in 1837. And, uh, it's quite a long house, although you can't see it from here. There's a, an old barn in the back that's connected, which is common in New England. And let's turn around and see what their view looks like. Yes, an open field right out to the ocean with a view out between Great Cranberry Island on the right and Sutton Island on the left. This house is 381 Seawall Road. It was built in 1875. It's kind of a hard one to get a good uh, shot of because uh, it has trees all in front of it and this is about the only gap where you can see the house. I was going to try and get a picture of 399 Seawall Road, which was built in 1846, but unfortunately it's down a long private lane and you cannot see it from the road, so I'll have to skip on that one. And this house is 418 Seawall Road. It uh, was built in 1891 for Ben F. Dolliver. This house is 435 Seawall Road, and it is uh, one of the older houses in this area. It was built in 1838, and it's quite a nice home because the land on the other side of the home, it goes right down to the water. It's about 200 yards of open land to the ocean. This is 451 Seawall Road. This house dates from 1898 and was built for an Ann Dolliver. And right next door is 453 Seawall Road, which was built in 1840 for Amos Dolliver. So lots of Dollivers out here on Seawall Road. And that wraps up the homes that I have to look at on Seawall Road today. Hope you enjoyed seeing these uh, historic homes here in Southwest Harbor, Maine, in the Manset part of town. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click that thumbs up button if you like the video. And thanks for watching.